Hey y'all, thanks for watching. So this is basically a video version of most of the guides that you can find online. It just kind of goes over like the pros and cons um, of playing a boomkin. It goes over rotation, stat prio, um, add-ons, macros, weak um, Let's see, what else? Uh, talents, um, glyphs. So just a little general info. If, if you're thinking about maybe um, leveling a boomkin, I definitely recommend it. Um, I would have a lot more than two if I could. Um, unfortunately, at some point I have to, um, you know, spend some time in real life. So I don't have all the time in the world to do it. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Okay, so one of the first pros about being a boomkin, um, and something that's also just super fun, is our AOE ability. We got huge AOE ability. Our star, starfall, our hurricane, um, they're just a lot of fun. Um, you do have to be careful with them. You will get blamed for pulls that you did not do um, all the time, or maybe pulls you did do. Uh, Gift of the Wild, you know, huge buff for the raid. Um, next is Fairy Fire, um, decreases the armor by 5%, huge debuff. We've got Moonkin Aura, um, increases spell crit by 5%. Um, Moonkin Aura also regenerates 2% of your total mana for each spell crit. And we got Bark Skin, which is a really great defensive spell for Druids. Um, I use mine all the time because you will pull aggro. Um, another thing for Druids is Flight Form. Flight Form is super fun, especially if you're a Herbert. It's basically um, BIS when it comes to farming herbs. Uh, you don't have to get out of form to pick them, so it's really great. It's also really great during quests, dailies, leveling. Um, you don't have to get out of Flight Form for doing um, like quests where you pick up things, so it's super easy. Um, it's really great for leveling and definitely a huge plus and I actually have one two druids and one one has um, herbalism and one doesn't so we've got abolish poisons always helpful um, one of the main things is battle res it's definitely important um, we have regular res so that like during pools you healers can conserve mana um, another thing everybody wants is the 13% damage debuff for spell power um, it's really important. Innervate, all your disc priests will be calling for that, possibly mages. Uh, we got remove curse, super important. Butter parses, but you know, gotta do what's best for the raid. Tranquility, um, it's there if needed, obviously. Um, also, our rotation. Our rotation is really fun. Like, I think it's fun. I've played some classes where I just get really bored and I'm not having a good time. With Druids, I just love our rotation. It's fun. It's, you know, it's always different. You're not always doing the same spells. Um, you kind of switch it up a little bit. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. So the pro or the cons are a little bit different. So cons, um, let me get my paper here. Cons, we have um, the RNG for Eclipses suck. Yeah, sometimes they just don't work. Um, movement. If we move a lot, we've got a big loss in DPS. Um, each raid only needs like one or two boomies, so that kind of stinks. Um, our single target damage is not amazing compared to other casters, and we are very gear dependent. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this part, and on to the next. Okay, as far as talents go, um, I've noticed just by inspecting other druids, everybody kind of has a different talent. I mean, they're all basically the same things. There's just little things that are different that some druids have and some don't. So um, a lot of druids have Typhoon. I don't have it, um, especially for this phase. We really, there just really isn't a need for it. We don't have a lot of AOE. Um, there's not a lot of trash in um, TOC. So um, I got rid of Gale Winds and I ended up putting that in Brambles and that increases the DPS of your treants. Um, I also put two points in this since our moonkin or our moonkin, our moon fire is so important. That kind of gives us 2% extra damage. It's a small damage increase, not a lot, um, but that's just kind of what I chose to do. Also, it's really important. Um, so like I said, I have two druids. So one druid, this druid right here has two points in nature's reach. And then my other druid only has one. And I am constantly pulling um, aggro on the other druid. So I really do think that two points in nature's reach is really important. Um, so yeah, these are my talents. Uh, and then I do have some people that aren't using Omen of Clarity. I feel like Omen of Clarity parks a lot. So, um, you know, I'm going to use it. Um, I need to save all my mana because this phase, basically my innervate is going toward a healer almost every fight. So, so yeah, those are mine. So for glyphs, um, since I have the four piece, uh, tier nine set and I have the um, moonfire ability has a chance for periodic damage to be critical strikes 
I have changed out my glyphs and instead of insect swarm glyph, I have moonfire glyph. I still have starfire and uh, starfall. And then for my little glyphs, I have um, the uh, unburned rebirth, dash, and wild. So those you can just kind of do whatever. Those just are a little bit easier. So yeah. Hey, okay. So for the stat pile for balanced druids, um, it kind of goes in this order. So first off is your hit rating. You need 17% hit total, but from talents and stuff like that, you only need 10% from gear. So um, yeah, that's pretty achievable, 10% from gear. Um, next off is spell power. Spell power is just literally the more spell power you have, the better. Um, really, you just want to try to get as much spell power as you can. Yeah. Um, next up is haste. Haste soft cap is 585. And then if you have a shaman dropping um, Wrath of Air totem, then it is 401. So that's definitely achievable. Um, everybody should pretty much have it this phase, I think. Um, crit. So the soft crap cap, soft crap, <laughs> soft cap for crit. That's kind of hard to say is when your lunar or no crap. When your starfire has a hundred percent chance of critting during lunar. So lunar gives you 40% crit. Um, so you need basically 60% from talents, gear, debuffs, um, buffs and stuff like that. So that pretty much puts you at needing about 45% crit, I'd say, and that should hit your crit soft cap. So I just say aim for about 45% and um, that should get you get you there. So yeah, uh, that's about it. Okay, as far as rotation, it's um, a little bit different for everybody. It does depend a lot on like what gear you have if you're wearing some of tier eight gear or if you're um, in four piece tier nine gear like me. So I'm just gonna kind of show what I'm doing with four piece tier nine. So I always, um, obviously you always wanna pre-pot. I am pre-potting with Potion of Speed. Some people are still pre-potting with um, Wild Magic. It's just whatever you prefer. I think um, for me, Potion of Speed is working out best for me. So I pre-pot and then I start throwing up my dots. So you know, you get your Moonfire, your um, Insect Swarm, your Fairy Fire, all that. Um, you wanna pop your trance. So if you're lusting on pool, get those trance out ASAP because they'll, they'll start lust whether your trance are out or not. So make sure you get your trance out um, and then starfall. So you always wanna starfall unless um, your starfall, unless you're holding starfall. So for like Jaraxxus, I'm waiting for the portals before I starfall. Um, but if there's no like um, massive AOE damage you wanna do, Pretty soon after pull, then just start fall right off the bat. Um, so what you can do um, is just keep your moon moonfire up at all times for your idol. Um, it basically gives you crit strike, a 200 crit strike increase all the time because it works really well. Um, I am on the move using my insect swarm, and I am sometimes putting it up um, before wrath, but I'm not always. I'm kind of it's it's still a habit for me to put it up so. I'm still using it. It's kind of, it's up in the air whether it's like a, 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 DP, a DPS loss or not um, using it before Wrath or just not using it at all. So um, make sure your Moonfire is up all the time, your Insect Swarm is up before Wrath if you want, and keep that going. Um, and then you want to use all of your cooldowns, your, your gloves and your trinkets during the Lunar Phase. And basically it's just kind of a rinse and repeat. Um, super, super easy really. Just kind of got to know the fights and know when to use spells. Um, and just kind of do what's fun for you and what how you want to play it. So yeah, that's my rotation. Um, I don't know what's up with my lighting. I think it's because maybe it got, it's kind of rainy and it's got darker out. And I think that's why it's all weird, but um, just real quick, I want to kind of go over my macros and my weak auras that I'm using. Um, so I have my achievement thing out just so that it puts my macros in the middle um, so I can see them better. All right, so the first macro I use is um, I put my Starfall and my um, Serenite Bombs in like one macro. And so I, you know, whenever I do want to cast it, I will um, just, you know, say over here is where I want to put it. So I'll do that and that will throw my, my, um, bomb into the area I want and cast my starfire so just makes it a little bit easier and it makes it to where you're using your serenite bombs where otherwise I would forget about them all the time so also if you hear that really weird noise in the background that is my dog and yes he sounds 
very weird. I don't know what kind of, he's a multi poo, but um, yeah, he's a very odd bark. Um, so the other thing I do is I put my, um, my trinket and my um, glove haste into one button. It's just my middle squirrely button. So I just hit that. Um, I usually hit that with Lunar. Um, and so that's really all I have um, as far as like main um, macros. I know there's a lot of macros out there, you know, for like innervating your um, focus and stuff like that, which I've had before, but I would forget to um, do the focus or whatever. And so for weak auras, um, weak auras are a big thing. I um, use this weak aura. I really like it. I will link it in my um, description. Um, it shows you everything you need. Um, weak aura, I have my camera um, weak aura. That way I can do my distance really far out. I can link that one too. It's not really boomkin specific. It's just kind of nice to have. Um, I, I like my raid time ability, raid ability timeline. It kind of puts it all on the side. Um, and I really like that. It's easy to follow. Um, I can link that as well. And then I have um, the ones like for, um, you know, a new penetrating cold. Um, the multi dot one is very helpful. Um, like, um, it just kind of shows where, like, say, uh, Memron. Memron, it has um, the head, the um, all of that tells you what dots are on those. Um, let's see. Obviously, Tim's, um, I guess a lot of people are using Foji. Foji? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, I might actually switch to Foji because it seems to be working really well, um, but maybe better than Tim's. Um, yeah, that's all I'm really using. The add-ons I'm using at the moment, um, Bagdon, um, Atlas, um, nothing really Druid or Boomkin specific. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, that's just kind of what I use. If you have any questions, um, let me know.